Good afternoon. afternoon. Welcome to St. John Paul II Catholic Church. A special welcome to anyone who might be visiting with us this afternoon. Please stand and join in our opening song, Here I Am to Worship. Good evening. Good evening. We pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are now in what is sometimes called ordinary time, but it really is not an ordinary in the sense that it's unimportant. It's a very important time because it gives us time to reflect upon what we have celebrated and what we will celebrate. We hear about the changing of the water into wine at the wedding feast. Jesus' gifts are abundant. And so let us pause for a moment and realize his gift of forgiveness is abundant as well. We have faith in your goodness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring us hope. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. We experience the love of your forgiveness. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow your peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. For Zion's sake, I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake, I will not be quiet until her vindication shines forth like the dawn and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication and all the kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall people call you forsaken or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight, and your land is spoused. For the Lord delights in you and makes your land his spouse. As a young man marries a virgin, your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, there are different kinds of spiritual gifts, but the same spirit. There are different forms of service, but the same Lord. There are different workings, but the same God who produces all of them and everyone. To each individual, the manifestation of the spirit is given for some benefit. To one is given through the spirit the expression of wisdom. To another, the expression of knowledge according to the same spirit. To another, faith by the same spirit. To another, gifts of healing by the one spirit. To another, mighty deeds. To another, prophecy. To another, discernment of spirits. To another, varieties of tongues. To another, interpretation of tongues. But one in the same spirit produces all of these, distributing them individually to each person as he wishes. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a wedding at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, woman, how does this concern of yours affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servers, do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding 20 to 30 gallons. Jesus told them, fill the jars with the water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. So they took it. And when the head waiter tasted the water that had become wine, without knowing where it came from, although the servers who had drawn the water knew, the head waiter said to the bridegroom, Everyone serves the good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Jesus did this at the, as the beginning of his signs in Cana and Galilee, and so revealed his glory, and his disciples began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. I was running a little late this evening and had to go to the bathroom and I ran home and I ran back into the house and dropped my coat and hat and 
took care of the whatever needed to be taken care of. And in my haste, I forgot to put my coat and hat back on. <laughs> and just a couple minutes ago, there was a lady holding up a coat and a hat. And it was my sister. She made a special trip to bring my coat and hat. So I guess we all need help sometimes. We read about the first miracle of Jesus in the gospel today, although John does not refer to it as a miracle, he refers to it as a sign. In fact, Jesus does not perform miracles in the gospel of John. They are all signs. There is more to it than simply what happens. Sometimes we are a little perplexed by the response of Jesus when Mary tells him that they have no wine. He said, woman, how does, this, how does your concern affect me? Bishop Sheen gave an interpretation, which I guess could be true, could be accurate. He said that his belief was that what Jesus was telling Mary was that things are going to change now. If I perform this sign or this miracle now, I will still be your son, but I will be a public person now, and I will begin a journey. I will begin a journey that ultimately will lead to his passion and death, lead to Calvary. And Mary simply says, do whatever he tells you. Did she know what he was going to do? I don't know but she still had confidence that somehow she, he would resolve that problem. You know, we pray to Jesus, we have to have faith. We have to believe that he does respond to our prayer. He may not answer our prayer in exactly the way that we wish, but we have to have confidence that he does hear our prayer and responds to our prayer. And in this story, it makes it very clear that the response of Jesus is abundant. That was a lot of wine that he made. <laughs> Almost too much. But still, he blessed the people with abundance, with an abundance of wine, so that they continue their, uh, their celebration of this wedding. I think there's more to it even than that. Here at this Mass, you will hear the words, this is my body, this is my blood. And the wine that we consecrate becomes Christ present on our altar. An abundant blessing for us through the Mass. An abundant blessing. Jesus becoming present to us under the form of bread and wine. What a powerful gift that is. What an abundant and generous gift that is. But we receive it every time we come to Mass and every time we celebrate Mass together. And it happens so often that sometimes we fail to really appreciate the abundance of that gift that God gives to us. This is certainly a sign it is more than simply turning water into wine. It is much more than that. It's a sign of what is to come, what Jesus is going to leave to us when he departs from this world. It's good to have a wedding celebration. Mary did not want to see this young couple embarrassed, but there was much more to it than that something for us to reflect upon. The generosity of Jesus Christ and the gifts that he brings to us. And we pray that we have faith to believe that Jesus hears and responds to our prayer. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, 
maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, he was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. In accordance with the scriptures, he into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, and the from the Father and the Son, with the Father and the Son, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith, we turn to God and present to him our prayers and our petitions. Let us pray for a new awareness of the miracles of Christ Jesus as we celebrate the gifts of faith, hope, and love in our midst. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the gifts of prophecy and understanding for all who lead the church, for Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our bishop, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for people we take for granted in everyday encounters, that we may learn a deeper gratitude for other people's skills and talents. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray to create the church based on the gifts of forgiveness, compassion, healing, and the common good. May we build our lives on gratitude. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the dignity of human life, the support of our children, people with disabilities, and for the unborn, also for the safety of all who will travel to Washington, D.C. for the Right to Life March next weekend. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Jim Linford and for Anna Mae Hinton, the intentions of this Mass, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our prayer requests at this Mass. Through the intercession of Mary, the Mother of God, St. John Paul II, and all the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we thank you for all the gifts and blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you especially for the generosity of your gifts, how you always watch over us and hear our prayer. We pray that we will always realize that you do hear our prayers. And we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. As we join in our offertory song, you are invited to bring forward your monetary gifts for the parish as well as any canned food or other gifts for the Speed and Sellersburg Food Pantry. Our offertory song is For the Beauty of the Earth.
righteous and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your name for the praise of the Lord. Grant us, O Lord, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father, Almighty and eternal God, for through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the glory of your hymn of glory as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. John Paul II, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleased with you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. <clears throat> Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. And God. Please join in our sending forth hymn, 10,000 Reasons. Let's go. 